So, as I am sitting cross-legged in my room, I feel the heaviness of my emotions weighing down on me. And although I have done so many, so many things today, I have no idea what I still feel heavy about. I mean, I've made art, started with some kind of music, I moved a little, I ate, and I still feel so incredibly heavy. And then I'm always asking myself, Maybe I should just stop eating. Maybe I should really just do that fasting. And today I make a really fat double layered pancake with banana and peanut butter in between and on top. And while I was sitting there eating, there came this voice into my head and it said, Give up food! And you're like, you're fucking kidding me, man. I mean, this now? Are you serious? Like, do you also want to take that away from me? I mean, this is the only joy that I have left in this world that gives me some kind of pleasure. Yeah, sure, I think I'm really overusing it. And I certainly don't have to eat as much as I am. But do you have to take that away from me as well? I mean, that's like the last thing that I can use to sabotage myself. So why do you also have to take, you know, you have to ruin everything. You know, first you say give up sexual desire or let it go. And then I work on that and then I stop watching porn and I stop masturbation. And the moment I do that, I sit here and you say give up food. And I think, what does that even mean? Does that mean I can't eat anymore? Like, will I never eat again? Do I have to do everything out of my own toolbox now? Do I really have to make this experience how to live without food? But then how long am I gonna live without food? I mean, sure, I've been feeling this for a long time coming already. Because I just get sick of shitting all day. I just get sick of sitting on the toilet all the time, it's boring. And every time I eat something, I get incredibly tired. And then I have to sleep. And I realized already, I mean, often I'm psychedelics, but that's just a state of mind, isn't it? I had no desire to eat on psychedelics. And then I came down again and suddenly, bam back in the food trough, like a pig eating its fill to be slaughtered and harvested. I mean, that's kind of sickening to me. It's kind of sickening. So what do I do about this? Well, the solution would be to just stop eating and to simply not care what happens to all the food that I don't eat. Because you know, we can keep stuffing ourselves with all this food that the industry produces because we feel bad, because otherwise it's going to waste. But let's be a little bit honest about this. I mean, if I eat this food, I'm gonna shit it into a toilet. I mean, that's kind of wasting it for me because I don't need to eat 2000 calories per day. I mean, when I listen to that audiobook or read the book, probably I've only listened to the audiobook called Zidata. You know, you know, it just talks about somebody who's enlightened. Enlightened, a light person. How do you ever want to feel light if you keep eating this much? 
I mean, that's the question I have to ask myself. But there's so much fear holding me back. Because I'm actually so afraid. Because they've told me all this time, if you don't eat, you're gonna die. Well then, let me die, man. I mean, you know, I'd rather die than live like this anymore. To be so dependent on everything, I mean, I'd rather die than to be forced to live in such a miserable state. To be hooked on food and caffeine and money and other people's attention. You know, I'm sick of this shit. And I said all along when I came here, I want to be free. Well, now I want to be free. And then the voice comes and says, give up food, right? And I think, what an asshole. Now you're telling me to give up food. Well, that's the ne next thing on the list, so work on it. I mean, when the voice came in the shower and told me, let go of sexual desire. I mean, I got really angry. Yeah, I got a little bit pissed. Because what does the voice tell me this kind of stuff? And who's the voice anyway? Well, until now, the voice has only helped me. Because the voice came and said, Let go of sexual desire. Yeah, I knew I had to work with that. I mean, that's homework. Nobody likes homework. I mean, nobody who's a bit like... A kind of a rebel likes homework. You don't want to do homework. What you want to do is go nuts in the world. But the problem is you cannot go nuts in the world if you don't do your homework. Because if you want to go nuts in the world, you have to be free of all this shit that's holding people back here. Because I'm, if I'm afraid, you know, if I'm trying to, let's say you want to lead a rebellion, and you're anxious that you're gonna run out of food, well, how are you going to give stability to the rest of the people? Well, you cannot. So you have to have your shit together, because they might try and starve you out. Well, if you're gonna lose it, everybody else is gonna lose it. So the least I can say is, all right, I'm gonna work on it. You know, I'm just gonna give up food, whatever that means. You know, food, as a means to torture myself, to stuff myself so full that I'm then so heavy that I actually have to drink a coffee to push myself. Right, right now I have to sit down because my f body is so full of food that's just clogging everything. Energy cannot flow anymore. And I'm doing this to myself every single day. And now the only solution for me is to simply sit here and talk about it. And it makes me sick. It makes me sick to see how everybody's eating so much. I mean, what is a mouth for? I don't really know, to be honest. I mean, I don't know what it's about. But I know that every day, you know, I try to fast. I try to fast. I try to fast. And then all these excuses come. No, I can't do that, I have to work, you know, I have to do this, I have to do that. Well, fasting is suffering. If I suffer a lot, you know, I have a lot of motivation to do art. Because that's what I want to actually do. I want to do beautiful things. I don't want to create more shit. And that's what happens when I use food to make myself feel better. I just take large crabs and I have to fart all the time. I don't want this anymore. I don't want to eat all the time, it's disgusting. I mean, animals don't eat all the time. Once in a while they stuff themselves. And that's it then. You know, it's not this constant flow of food, it's disgusting. It's really, it pisses me off. And something has to happen with that. So yeah, sure, the voice comes and says, give up food, what do I do? All right. You know, I'm working on it, all right? Homework accepted. I'm gonna work on it and I'm gonna do my job. And then I'm gonna show to the people that you can do all of this stuff without eating a lot. Or maybe even without even eating ever again. Maybe I can just drink stuff, you know? Maybe I can even continue to drink coffee. You know, I don't know how that stuff works. It says give up food, what does that mean? 
What does it mean to give up food? Is, you know, is drinking food? Is drinking coffee food? Is tea food then as well? Should I just drink water? Right? Or is that also not okay? You know, where does it start and where does it end? I mean, it started with one chicken and now we've got billions of them sitting around in cages. And, I mean, just look at McDonald's. They started with one store. And now they're, they think it's okay to kill millions of chickens each year. And cows. And then just mash them together like they don't even exist. You know, it's like it's some kind of, you know, it's sick. It's sick. You eat one chicken McNugget. And there's probably hundred a hundred different chickens in there. Don't you think that's kind of twisted? I mean, I already don't eat that stuff. But what's with peanut butter? I mean, how many peanuts am I stuffing into myself? I sometimes eat a jar of peanut butter in one day. How many peanuts? How much earth had to be used and tilled and fertilized and deforested so that I can keep eating peanuts? So that I can stuff myself with this ridiculous amount of food. So that other people can make lots of money. I mean, this is kind of sick, it's kind of twisted. And I can feel it, I mean, there's this stench coming out of my throat. Why do you think all these toothpastes we're using are so strong? Because people are sick of their stench that's coming out of their body. Because we're basically shoving greed down our throats. So yeah, what about coffee? I don't know. Maybe I'm working with transitions, right? But what is then with oat milk? You know, can I drink my coffee still with oat milk? You know, is that fine? You know, can I drink all fluids but just not eat? You know, can I juice my oranges? Or is that also not okay? You know, I don't even know what counts as food. So what do I have to do? I have to figure it out for myself. I have to make a choice and I have to say, all right, I'm gonna have a look at it, right? I'm gonna have a look at it. I'm gonna make a decision. And it's gonna be a hack job. And do you know why? Because the worst thing about fasting in this kind of twisted society is that people give you all kinds of shit for it. You wanna fast while you're living with other people. They're gonna come, Oh, don't you eat anymore? Yeah, I stopped eating. So what? Well, that's really unhealthy. Yeah, and suddenly you're eating again because you just think, just leave me the fuck alone. I mean, I just want to fast in silence. I just want to fast quietly. You know, I just want to fast and you leave me alone about it. You know, that's kind of the point. But then I go to people and I tell them I'm fasting and as soon as I do that, they're on my back. You know, then, are you sure? Ah! You know, this pretense taking care of people. You're not taking care of me. You're just afraid I'm gonna die. So just leave me alone already. I mean, you have to really know how to set boundaries. Otherwise, you're gonna live the life of other people. And I've done that for so long, right? I don't even know how to communicate this anymore. Because people are so full of shit, you go there, you say, I want to fast, and they annoy you so long, until you're just gonna say, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna keep eating, because this really pisses me off. But anyway, right, my resolve is strong, I think I can do it, you know, I'll find a way. In the end, all you have to do is, you just go there and say, stop buying food for me. If they buy it anyway, just let it go to waste. Right? Because I've been eating food just because they bought it. Right? It's because other people buy food because they like taking care of me or something. I don't even want to eat it. You know, I didn't want to eat this stuff already for months already. But I never had the balls to admit that. And now I'm at this point where I say, what the fuck, mate? I mean, this is far beyond healthy. So, yeah, I don't know. Am I still going to drink coffee? Maybe. Am I still, you know, am I going to drink orange juice? Yeah, maybe, you know, 
I haven't figured this out. I don't know what counts as food or not. You know, maybe I'll work with transitions, right? Maybe I'll just work with transitions, right? Maybe once in a while I'll have a broth or something. But I don't want to eat all this stuff anymore. I just want to know for once in my life how it feels to be empty. To be really empty so that I know what is inside of me that I'm missing all this time. What am I missing? What am I missing today? I have everything. You know, I'm in my room. I feel kind of good. And then I'm missing something. What am I missing? There's nothing to miss. I'm missing other people. What? I'm missing a woman. You know, or what am I missing? There's nothing to miss. Everything's already there. So why am I eating so much? You know, this is like brainwashed. We've been brainwashed into thinking we have to eat all the time. You have to drink all the time. Well, I've, tr you know, I've drunk nothing once for four days and I still pissed on the fourth day because I was so full of water that my body still tried to get rid of it after four days. You know, we drink too much, we eat too much. So you have to find your own balance, how much to eat, how much to drink. You cannot listen to science for this because science is just, yeah, piggybacking the industry, right? They get funded by the industry. You have to understand that science knows nothing. All they say is what people want to hear or what they've been paid to say. Nobody gives a shit about the research that's being done. Nobody gives a shit about saving animals. People want to make science because they want a piece of the cake. They want to have glory, they want to have money. They don't care about animals. They literally don't care about animals. They don't care about anything. Science is about feeling better than everybody else because you think I know what's going on. Well, I have to admit I have no idea what's going on and when the voice comes and says give up food then I'm gonna fucking work on that. And that's my choice. Make your own.